go to jail. This is Artifacts of Mars, and I feel I must respond to Hillary Clinton's speech where she uh, blasted Donald Trump and Alex Jones and such. This is a video that's on my mental disorder of liberalism playlist. And I'm going to go to the site, if you bear with me, and we'll take a look at the story on this. Hang on. Okay, this is on Real Clear Politics. Clinton ties Trump to Infowars and Breitbart. A fringe element has taken over the Republican Party. In a speech Thursday in Reno, Nevada, Hillary Clinton tied Donald Trump to a vast alt-right conspiracy, including alternative news sources Breitbart dot com and infowars dot com saying Trump treats the National Enquirer like it's gospel. You are a liar 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 pants on fire. That is a lie. Excuse me, I'm fooling around my microphone. That is a lie. It's what happened when you listen to the radio host Alex Jones who claims that nine eleven Local Oklahoma City bombings were inside jobs, she said. Uh, that type of stuff, I don't let Alex Jones, he's got a number of videos out responding to Hillary, so I'm going to let him deal with that. He hired Stephen Banning, she said about Trump, the head of a right-wing website called Breitbart.com as campaign CEO. That is true. She read several headlines from Breitbart.com and claimed inside the Southern Poverty Law Center, which Breitbart, which says Breitbart and embraces ideas on the extremist fringe of the conservative right, racist ideas, race baiting ideas, anti-Muslim and anti-immigrant ideas, all key tenets making up an emerging racist ideology known as alt-right. That is incredible bullshit. That is bullshit. Uh, I'm going to explain to you, uh, candidate Clinton, why there's an alternative media. And it's simple and it's easy to understand. Uh, we have, there are many of us throughout this country, in fact, a large proportion of us. We live in little uh, backwater towns. We live in uh, woods. And we're not just white either. And we've been ignored by the press. If you're a conservative and you're, you work at a regular job and take care of yourself, you don't get any, we, you don't get any representation. Simple as that. Our uh, elected representatives are next to worthless. And as for the mainstream media, which you embrace, they ignore us. Unless we do something, some Somebody does something wrong. In other words, you'll never see these uh, the mainstream media go out and talk to a blue-collar working family and, and you know do a piece on their lifestyle. This is how we live. You'll never see that unless they're trying to push forward a liberal agenda on that. If there's something liberal, something that's part of their agenda, then they'll do it. But normally, we just get ignored. We're told to keep our mouths shut and pay our taxes. That's all we're good for. Keep your mouths shut, pay your taxes, be a good boy. This is what we're tired of.
All right? You getting this? We're tired of it. We're tired of being ignored. Every time the media comes out with a story about, you know, the conservative people living out in wherever, it's always a negative story. Especially if you're white. If you're a white male and you're conservative, the story is always negative. All day long, negative, negative, negative. So, you blast Alex Jones. At least Alex Jones covers things that lamestream media won't cover. This is why so many of us love him. We're not allowed to have any voice on things like Sandy Hook. Candy Clinton, I personally investigated Sandy Hook a couple of years after, but uh, I was not, I was not impressed. To be honest with you, there's something horribly wrong there. I saw anomalies and I've listed them in my videos. I do not buying into the official story. I'm sorry. I cannot do that. I cannot buy into the official story when there are so many problems with it. Now, am I saying people didn't die? No. What I am saying is there are too many problems, too many inconsistencies for me to buy into it, to agree with the story. Okay, so, where does that leave us? You don't like the alt-right conspiracy? Well, too bad. I'm sure if you get elected, you're going to try to shut, shut it down. That way you get to silence as many hard-working Americans as possible. Just shut up, and pay your taxes, and let the, let the government speak for you. Screw you. Screw you, lady. I I really shouldn't call you lady. Screw you and the horse you rode in on. In fact, fuck you and the horse you rode in on. We're going to continue to listen to Alex Jones. We're going to continue, and many of us are going to continue to support Donald Trump. I'm not too happy with his softening his position on the uh, immigration, I'm watching that closely. Um, I hope we don't soften it too much. I'm going to have to do something like <laughs> choose another candidate. But uh, so I'm still supporting him as of now. And you can take your tinfoil hat and you can shove it up your sassafras as far as I'm concerned. We have the right to communicate, and we have the right under the Constitution to exchange ideas. That's what the alternative media is about. Mainstream media is about getting people like you elected. That's what they do. That's their only function. They don't care about truth. They'll do everything they can to lie to the public, deceive the public, you know, it's a sad day when the tabloid press uh, has become more reliable than the uh, mainstream media, but it's true. Even the supermarket tabloids are more reliable than ABC, NBC, CBS. This is why I hardly ever post anything from the mainstream media unless it's a local thing. There's some stories I will, but for the most part, I just ignore them because they have ceased being news organizations. They're nothing but propagandists. And this is why we have the alternative media. 
We're tired of the propaganda. This is why the media, the mainstream media, gets booed so often at Trump rallies. People know what's going on. People know that these are propagandists, not journalists. There's a difference. Learn it. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.